In Ship Constructor 2011 R2 we have improved the way how twisted stiffeners update in structure model drawings after associated stringers change in hull model drawings. To illustrate the new ability I have prepared a simple test case. Currently I am in the structure model drawing that contains a few twisted stiffeners that were originally exported from the hull model drawing. I've done some custom work on imported twisted stiffeners. For example, if we look at this stiffener, we'll see that this stiffener has some end cut, custom cutout, and green material. Another stiffener has been trimmed with a trimming plane that is indicated with the red rectangular object. Assume a situation that associated stringers have changed in a Hull model drawing. In the previous version of Ship Constructor, if a stringer changes in the Hull model drawing, you'll have to delete the associated twisted stiffener from the structure model drawing completely. Along with that, you'll have to delete all of the custom work that was done on the twisted stiffener, and then you'll have to re-export the twisted stiffener from the hull into the structure model drawing. In the new version of Ship Constructor, I don't need to delete existing twisted stiffeners from the structure model drawing. All I need to do is just to go into the hull model drawing and update modified stringers from there. Let me show how it's done. This is my Hull model drawing that contains a surface with a number of stringers on it that were exported into the structure model drawing. I will simulate a change that could potentially occur to a stringer by modifying its stock type. Another change that I will do in this drawing is modifying the location of the stringer that I have just selected. Once all of the changes are done, I can update stringers that get modified by going into the stringer group on my ribbon and selecting the Update Twisted Stiffener Part command. The command has the only input, which is the stringer, that needs to be updated. In the dialog that opens, I can see what twisted stiffener part in the structure model drawing corresponds to the current stringer. If necessary, I can change this relationship. However, in this presentation, there is no need to do so. This is a standard warning message that tells about the limitations of the current functionality. This is the same dialog that users see when they first export a stringer into a structure model drawing. Ok, here is one more stringer that needs to be updated. In case of the second stiffener, I just follow the standard steps. After both stringers are updated, I'm going to open the structure model drawing and see what changes happen there. The first stringer that was updated preserved its end cut, its custom cutout, and its green material. However, the stringer that changed its location didn't preserve its custom trim. New improvements will help you keep in sync how model drawings and structure model drawings.